There are two things I've done in the past month that have drastically increased my free time as a mom <laughs> and homemaker. The first one was a tip from this book I've been reading called Hunt, Gather, Parent. Basically, this mom studies mothers in other cultures and tries to figure out what they're really great at, especially compared to things that American parents are not good at. <laughs> And um, one thing she found was that for some reason, American parents spend way more time doing like child activities, child level activities, stuff like going to the park and playing with toys and going to a little bouncy house kind of place. And moms and other cultures just don't do that. And instead, they live their lives they continue to live their lives doing their own adult things and then they invite kids to be a part of those activities so the author's advice was to stop doing activities that you would only do with your kid and try to do more activities that you would do whether or not your kid was there so basically just like adult activities and then find ways to include your kid in them so like going to the library i probably still do that's fun for me and my daughter but playing with little people i probably am not gonna do as much because it's so boring to me i do sometimes like it though so i probably will <laughs> still play little people sometimes but in order to practice this, in the past month, I've been spending way more time while my daughter is awake doing chores with her. Because the main thing I would do if she wasn't there is clean the house. That's what I love to do. I love to have a clean house and it's very calming for me. So for the past month, we've been cleaning the house together and I've been working on finding ways to include her in those chores, like cleaning the house and cooking meals. And it has been so fun, first of all. I just want to start with that. It has been incredibly fun, way more than I was expecting. She has caught on so fast, and it is really actually easy to find jobs that she can do. Sometimes it's tempting when I'm sweeping the kitchen to ask her to go away so I can quickly sweep the kitchen in one minute. Sometimes when she helps sweep, it goes everywhere, and it's frustrating, and it takes way longer, but... If I let her help me, we get to spend time together. Eventually she'll learn every time she does get better. And then we're doing something like really productive still that we can both enjoy. So it's been so fun the past month, just thinking of activities that we can do together and then doing them. And I feel like both of us are enjoying life a little more. And she still plays with her little people. I play with her a little bit every few days but she has now learned to play with little people by herself so sometimes i will be cooking and she'll just leave and go play with her toys and it's fine and we're both still doing what we want and i've spent way less amount of time doing boring kid activities that i have no interest in actually doing you know so anyway i think there's a way to find a good balance between that but by having her help me clean, it's been it's given me so much more time because now I don't have to clean everything only when she's napping. The second thing that has given me way more free time is trying to practice some minimalism. I've been decluttering different areas of my home every week and trying to buy less stuff overall, which means um, I have less stuff to manage. I don't have like packages every day full of products that I need to find a new home for and put away and throw away all the wrapping and stuff. <gasps> Excuse me. And as I've decluttered my home and made it a little bit more minimal, it's also become more manageable. And I've put things in smarter places. Like I collected all of our cleaning supplies. I managed to declutter it all until everything fit on one shelf. And now it's so easy to gather everything to clean one room. So it's just so much faster. And before it was harder because I had way too many cleaning supplies and they were kind of stored all over the house in lots of different places. And 
it was just way more of a hassle and now it's not so anyway those two things have helped me just in one month totally reclaim way more free time suddenly nap times and evening i'm just completely free i have only free time to do whatever i want and since i was not ready for all that free time i have binge watched all of parks and rec all seven seasons it's either six or seven seasons in the past month okay first of all that's how much extra free time i have i could totally like ask google how many hours that is that's how much free freedom i just that's how much free time i just suddenly had out of nowhere but also yikes i don't want to be binge watching a tv show every month so that leads me to the purpose of this video i want to try for the next few weeks or months i don't know how long i want to try and have less screen time not zero screen time if i feel like watching a show or a movie that's fine but instead i want to intentionally spend a lot more time on all of the different hobbies that i've always dreamed of being great at i want to get good at calligraphy and making sourdough bread and uh, i don't know gardening maybe it is winter time so i don't know if i can start that but i'm sure there's books i could read and like you do starter plants i don't even know i don't know anything about gardening but that's one of the hobbies that I want to try. And so for the next few however long, I'm going to try and do hobbies during my free time and intentional activities that are fulfilling and bring me joy and purpose in life and that are way more intentional than watching more TV. Again, if I want to watch a show or a movie, I'm going to. It's fine. There's no... I'm not trying to cold turkey stop watching screens because i love to be entertained and especially as a mom i think it's so important that you give yourself time to relax and be entertained and let your brain turn off and just chill out but not every single day which is what i've been doing for all of nap time and every evening my go-to and my habit now is just to turn on the tv and i'm feeling a little bit like I'm wasting time and that there are way more things in this life that I want to try and enjoy and get good at and practice and all this stuff. So if you have any suggestions for hobbies I could try or intentional activities that could fill my cup during my free time away from the toddler, please let me know. But tonight, I've decided it would be so fun to have a little self-care night. So I'm going to draw a bath. I think I'll put bubbles and lavender um, salt in it. And then I'm also going to light a candle. I'll have to put up my hair. It's going to be really fun. So let's get that set up. These are both. Lavender. I just found the idea of it like putting me to see it. I'm gonna start with these. This has got to be one of my favorite candles. French country vanilla. There we go. Mm, look at that. What a pretty sight. Love it. Now you'll have to excuse me while I go enjoy my bath. <laughs>
Um, wow. <laughs> if it's been a while since you took a candlelit bath, let this be your sign to do, <laughs> to do so as soon as possible. I feel amazing. I feel so calm and ready for bed. I feel rested and just content with life. Um, <clears throat> usually, sometimes during baths, I take my phone with me and watch something or read. And this time I intentionally didn't do that. It was just peace and quiet, me in the bath. And my gosh, I had so many ideas. I was like brainstorming out the wazoo. I had a lot of ideas for my personal life, but also even for this series. I think it'd be fun or helpful for me to write a big list of all the intentional activities and hobbies I want to do and try. And then, sorry, I just realized I think I might be talking quiet because I feel so zen right now. Let me try to talk a little louder in case I'm all whispery. Anyway. I just think it'd be helpful to have a big list of ideas or even daily categories of intentional activities that I want to try and get into just to help me stay a little bit, well, consistent and to make it a little easier to decide what to do every day because definitely I think a hurdle to being intentional every day would be thinking of how and getting stuck on not having ideas or not feeling up for a 30 minute long activity on a day when I only have five minute gap or five minutes of energy before I want to turn on a show and be entertained and go blank in my head, you know? Anyway, I have been reminded of that quote that is something like silence is the key to imagination or something like that. I definitely butchered that, so sorry. But basically, I know whenever I'm rested and calm and all the screens are off and I'm undistracted, that's when I have like my best brainstorms and I have ideas of how to live my life better or do something correctly. And I think it's so easy to continue the stimulation from screens and let our brains turn off but that also keeps our brains from solving problems sometimes and I was just reminded of that so <laughs> um I'm hoping that this exercise will help me have better ideas but also it doesn't even matter if I'm spending my intentional time brainstorming. Really, I just want to live a better, healthier, more fulfilled life that is not just watching TV. I think I've just been getting in the habit lately of watching TV and being entertained and consuming content. And I think that can really kill my creativity and when I turn it all off and create something or try a passion it just feels way better every time so I'm excited to see how this goes and I will see you tomorrow <laughs>